Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In a previous video I was explaining about booleans inside Power Apps and now I'm gonna give a demonstration about booleans inside expressions, how they work. If you didn't watch the video, I will let it somewhere here as a recommendation. Please watch that and then return here for a better understanding. Let's take a look at what we have so far. I have demonstrated how we can get the output of these elements as a boolean based on the previous explanations and how to use it to conditionally show or hide an image. Now I want to talk a little more about expressions that return boolean values, okay? So let's go to my screen and understand a little more. Right, in order to explain that, I'm going to insert a new text label. Okay, let me just put here in the bottom of my app. And we have the text property here with the text word written on it. Okay, we could have anything. So, for example, a number. And it would show a number, right? But we could have expressions. That, for example, if I put right here, 3 equals 3, we are going to see true written here. We don't see this anymore. We see the result of the expression because 3 is a number, 3 is a number, and the, this sign is the comparison between them. If we see the full expression, it will return true because both numbers are the same, right? So, expressions return booleans, and those expressions are used inside the app to manage how the app behaves based on the user interaction. We could have, for example, three comparing if it's bigger than the other number. In this case, I'm comparing three is bigger than three. No, it's false. It's the same number, so here I have false as a result. But if I put true right now, we will have a true because 3 is bigger than 2. We could check if 3 is smaller than 2. No, it's bigger, so we have a false. We could check if, if 3 is different than 2. It's true, it's not the same thing, so we get a true because this results in a true expression. Okay, we could compare texts. We could test, for example, if grapes are equal bananas and that's false because they are not but if you say if we say grapes are equal grapes and yes because they are the same thing and the return of the expression is yes right and usually this doesn't make sense right now to do this inside the app it's not useful for anything but we have expressions to compare and to test things for example, the if expression. I, I have a video where I recorded an example of conditionally showing things based on comparisons like this, and I will let as a suggestion in the end of this video. So if you want to understand more and see it applied in a real life scenario, for example, in a scenario that makes sense, please watch the next video. And also don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments if this was use useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.